it is my birthday today, actually. You want it to be fierce, honey. You want it to be fierce. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. So it's my birthday. Nope. She's not doing it. She's not doing it. People are tap dancing on my last nerve and I refuse to like wish your girl a happy birthday because I'm a fierce bitch. That's my birthday candle, you guys. That's my birthday. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mystic Green here. And today we're going to be making magic birthday candles. So I'm going to show you guys something really interesting, really fun. We're going to do magic birthday candles. The reason why we're going to do magic birthday candles is because it is my birthday today, actually. So the day, is it? It is. It will be because the day I upload this video will be my birthday. So if you see it, it'd be nice if you could say happy birthday in the comments. That'd be great. I was going to demand that you do that, but I realized that that is wrong. But it's like totally my birthday and I'm really excited about it. So that's why we're going to be doing birthday candles. And so... As always, you want to keep your place, your space really clean because it does get really dirty. And I will show you what I'm doing because I have an assortment of accoutrements here right now. So here's the thing. I love the ritual of blowing out a candle for your birthday. I think it's so fun. However, I do think it's flawed in a few ways. One, in my opinion, you shouldn't blow out a candle, period, a magic candle. When you blow out, it kind of ruins the magic, and that's why the majority of people's wishes don't come true after they blow out their birthday candles. And so I never blow out my magic candles. So that's one reason. Another reason is when someone presents you with a cake for you to blow out the candle, you usually haven't had time to like focus your intention or think about what it is that you want. And so you probably didn't have the 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 the, the time to like focus on the magic. And then the third thing is most people don't realize that a birthday cake and a birthday candle and blowing that out is actually them doing magic. A lot of people don't know this, but it's true. And I always tell people that are like wary getting into this, chances are you have performed magic before. You just didn't know that you were doing it and it maybe it wasn't effective or it didn't work. So it didn't register at that moment, but that's what you're doing. What I'm going to do is show you birthday magic that works and birthday magic that is fun. So I've got this white candle here. And so white is good for everything. If you don't have a candle color specific to what it is that you want to do, you can use white because it's a catch-all color. I'm using white because I have a million things that I want for my birthday. So this is what you do when you do candle magic for your birthday. You think about that year you're about to embark on and you think about the things that you want to manifest for you, for yourself. And so I recommend that when people do birthday candles that they don't include things like love, like I want to fall in love because that is incorporating somebody else into a moment that's supposed to be about just you. We want to do something that's about you, about the life that you picture for yourself and about the growth that you want to experience on this next year that you're embarking on in this journey. If you want to do love, I've got tons of other things for that, tons of other tips and tricks. And there will be videos that come out about that where we will tackle just love stuff. But right now, birthday stuff is just about you okay so only do things that are about you so do things that you aspire to have maybe you want um just your own stuff where you want a new house or you want a new car or you want to make enough money because there's this purse that you've been eyeing or you want to go on a trip just things about you that you want for you maybe you want to grow maybe you want to work on that self-love maybe you want to work on your confidence things that you feel will make you a better person and lead to a better quality of life for you is the stuff that you want to focus on when it comes to your birthday they wish. Now, when you, now before we start touching the candle, I would recommend that you work on your petition first. I don't always recommend that every candle magic that you do has to have a petition. A petition. I also don't always think that it needs to be done first. Sometimes I think you can prepare the candle and do it after. But I think that you should do, do it in this case, you should do it first because it really focuses everything and it focuses your intention because this is heavy duty, hard hitting magic that we're about to do. So I'm gonna give you an example of what that looks like. So me personally, on New Year's, I do candle magic for the whole year. And it ends up looking something like this. This is my petition. It's broken down into everything that I want to have for myself. I have categories here with things written in them. I have health, wealth, career, family, friends, self-love, 
um, romantic love, things that I want to bring in for myself. And then after six months, because my birthday is in June, right? After six months, I go and I do my birthday magic. And I take the petition that I did in the beginning of the year for the new year, and I read through it. And it's usually the first time I start read throughing it after I uh, wrote it. And I figure out where I am in the manifestation process. And I was re reading through it last night, and I realized that a lot of things that I wanted to manifest have already manifested or are actively in, a pro in the process of materializing. And I can see that it's materializing, which I think is so cool. So I go through everything that I wanted. And then I look at what I need to double down on, like what needs more fire, what I like and want to continue working with, what are things that I've moved on from or I feel like I no, I no longer need. And I take the things that I want to double down with, I put those in my birthday petition paper, and I actually get rid of things that I don't want, right? So for example, in my New Year petition paper, there is a category with romantic love that I wrote all of that down. That was part of the love magic that I had did. Again, that'll be another video that I show you guys. This is going to be a section that I leave out of the birthday magic because your birthday is only about you. It should not include anybody else. And so I don't recommend that you do love on your for like your birthday magic because it should just be about you and what you want. Right. And so that would be something that I would leave out. And then I rewrote my petition. I thought about things that I have and things that I want. And then I wrote it again. And I just want to give you a got you guys an idea. So this whole page of like how long your petitions can be that whole page, that whole page, and then part of that page. Um, there is no like right way to write a petition or it has to be a certain length or anything like that. But I just want to give you a guys an idea of like how long it gets. And the reason for that is because I want to focus my attention and I want to think about what I want to bring in this world in this next year that I'm going to embark on. Another thing is to consider is not to restart a time frame. So if you've noticed you've written something in a petition before that you wanted to manifest and you want to write it again, a new magic that you're doing, make sure that when you write it again, you're not wording it in such a way that restarts its time frame. So there are also things in a petition that I had left out because I didn't want to restart the time frame of the manifestation. So keep that in mind. So yes, those are that's my birthday petition. There's everything that I want to bring into this world. And this, this next year that I'm about to embark on. And so that's already done. That already started the process of enforcing my intention. So now onto the fun stuff, because I know that's probably why you guys clicked. I've got my candle and then I'm going to start inscribing in my candle on what I want. And so what I'm going to put on my candle for me is going to be incredibly simple. I'm going to write one word. I'm going to write it a bunch of times. And for me, it's abundance. That's it. It's abundance. I want abundance in every area of my life. I want abundance in my bank account. I want abundance in my businesses. I want abundance in my friendships. I want abundance in my family. I want abundance in every area of my life. I want to be abundant. Okay. And for me, that is a key word that sums up everything that I've written in my petition. So I'm going to write this a few times. And then that's that for the, the inscription. And now I'm going to start the process of dressing or anointing the candle, right? So what I'm doing now is getting off all the access wax because from inscribing it. And I've decided already that I'm going to use my special blend that I have for myself called the material blend that I've created. It has basil in it. It has peppermint in it. There's cedar leaf in it. And the carrier oil is olive oil. And um, the, material oil, I, the material oil that I made is specifically for anything in the material world, anything that's tangible, anything that you wanted to manifest or bring into the world that I can touch is covered by my material oil. Material oil, and that's going to be the oil that I'm going to use. And um, this oil, by the way, is tried and tested because I have used it many times. I, have, I also use this oil in my magic classes that I teach in person. And I sell this oil and I have had really good reviews. So what you want to do when you have the oil and you're anointing your candle, and by the way, anointing just means to bless it. Um, you want to make sure that the candle almost becomes kind of tacky because we are going to put herbs on it and we want the herbs to stick. And so you want the candle to be wet enough for the herbs to do that. All right. And now it's going to start getting messy. 
And now I'm going to start picking my herbs and I'm going to start crushing them in my mortar and my pestle. Now, you don't have to crush your herbs at all if you don't want to do it. I'm just a little bit extra and I appreciate some razzle dazzle. And I got this in the Witch's Moon Box subscription. And honestly, it is the only thing that I would ever use it for. So now I use it when I do candle magic for when I crush herbs. And like, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And so I will tell you everything that I'm using. So let's just start with the one that's closest to me. So we've got ginger here. Oh, hold on. Let me go to the, the, the right page in my book of ancestors so I can tell you what everything does because I keep them here. Okay, so we got ginger here. And ginger speeds up magic. It's like a kick in the ass. So think about like how you how, how it tastes when you taste it. It's kind of like, ugh, it's, it's, it just, it, it has a je ne sais quoi, okay? That just kind of happens. Anyone that, that, that eats ginger knows what I'm talking about. You want a little bit of that, okay? Because it's gonna, it's just gonna kickstart it and help speed it up. You want some allspice. I've got some ground allspice, and that was also ground ginger, by the way, that you want. Allspice will increase the energy of the magic. And um, there is also this idea that because it's allspice, it contains the qualities of all spices that you can use. Now, we all know that's not true. It's not all spices. I believe it's, a, I forgot what kind of berry it is, but it's just a berry. But there is that added element to it as well. And then I'm also going to use some basil. Basil attracts money. It's also a really good herb for protection and luck. And basil is a really good all-around herb that you can use for a lot of different magics. Um, if you have nothing at home but you have basil in your kitchen cabinet, use that because it'll work just fine. And you can use it for almost anything. So then I'm also going to use cinnamon. I've got ground cinnamon here and everything that I just showed you, I pulled out of my kitchen cabinet and cinnamon is a holy bark and it's used to sort of sanctify or to bless. It's also really good for business luck. I have a few endeavors that I'm going about at the moment and I would like some of this for all of it. Now, I've got some cedar leaf here which is good for drawing money and I want that prosperity and I want that abundance. So I'm going to throw some of those in here, cedar leaf. Cedar leaf, by the way, guys, you can get around the winter time, around the holidays. There's a lot of cedar leaf that you can get. You can find it um, in most metaphysical stores around that time. And if not, you can pluck it off a tree because they're everywhere. I got some rose petals that I'm going to put in here as well. Now, you can use rose for love stuff if that's what you want to do. I'm not making my birthday candle about love. I'm actually using rose in here for protection. The rose actually, believe it or not, will protect you from the evil eye and jealous people. And I know that I'm going to glow this year and people are not going to like it. And so while they're sipping the hateration, I don't want none of that in my dance array. Okay. So I'm going to use some of that and think like rose and thorns. That's why it protects you from the evil eye. So I'm going to go and I'm going to start crushing this up. Okay, so I've crushed it the best that I could, and now I'm going to take my um, dish and I burn my candle in. Okay, so this is my prosperity bowl. It's shaped like a star. I got it from the dollar store for a dollar, and um, anything that I do that's prosperity or abundance or money or business, I use this bowl to do the magic in and to light the candle in. And so I'm going to pour all the crushed herbs in here. And then what I'm also going to do, and I usually don't do it like this, but I feel like it'll be easier this time, is add the glitter. Okay, so what glitter does, glitter signifies that you're coming to the end of your ritual and that you're kind of wrapping up your magic. And it's also a symbol to your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, that you are asking for their assistance and what it is that you're trying to do. And so it's your way of saying that I've done what I've done on the earthly plane, like I commit to doing what I need to continue to do on the earthly plane. And I ask that you step in from the spirit realm and help me on that side of things. And they will kind of sort of step in and take over. And this is what the glitter signifies. The glitter 
the color of the glitter also signifies different things as well. So I've got green glitter here. So for a lot of people, green glitter will content, will signify um, money, but sometimes green can also be associated with a heart chakra as well. For so for other people, they may use green glitter for love. We've got red hair, uh, red glitter hair. So red glitter would be love, but it's also passion and fire and energy to a situation. You got gold here, which is success. Um, it could also be luck or business, like think like a pot of gold. You got purple here, which probably can be attributed to love as well, but also healing and nurturing energies. And then you've got silver here, which is a signal of sort of the, the divine in the crowd chakra. And so because I'm making a birthday candle, I want all of these things because in my petition, I'm talking about every aspect of my life that I want to change or continue to grow for this particular year that I'm going to be spending on this earth. So I'm going to be using everything that 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 includes all of that stuff. So I'm using all the glitters, okay? All of them. Like get this open. So and then by the way, guys, can you just get your glitter from the dollar store, please? Like, please don't make yourself sick over this stuff. Like it's so cheap. Like there's no reason why people need to spend a lot of money on doing magic. It won't come out. Okay, I'm just gonna open it like this. And then in addition, right, to using all these glitter colors, it makes it really pretty. And so it's a birthday candle. Like you want it to be fly. You want it to be fierce, honey. You want it to be fierce, okay? And so I'm literally, because I'm a fierce bitch, okay? I'm going to make this shit bomb. Bomb. And you want it to be bomb as well because you are also a fierce bitch. And I don't care either you know there are two times during the year when people are like a new bitch and it's new year's and it's your birthday you ever notice that i'm about to be a real new bitch watch watch people thought i was fierce before or maybe i just thought i was fierce before but i'm really gonna be fierce i ain't taking shit this year nothing like all that like that mrs nice girl and everything nope she's not doing it she's not doing it People are tap dancing on my last nerve and I refuse. I refuse. I'm not doing it this year. So give me, the, um, this is red, by the way. This is red. I'm not doing it. All of that. Ugh. All right. I'm going to mix it. Mm, I want some more silver. This is a birthday. This is, this is a celebration of my life. And I'm celebrating me. And when you do this, you do this with the intention of celebrating you and what you want and who you are. All right. So now that we got all of that going, is it still tacky? Not really. I have to add a little bit more oil because I waited too long. But that's okay. Because it's my birthday and I will cry if I want to. Which, by the way, I probably totally will cry because, like, I'm actually kind of sensitive. You know what I mean? all this empath stuff all right so it's in gray it's inscribed you guys you wouldn't be able to see that before. and i'm just gonna start twirling it around and so it's gonna start sticking to the candle like this and it's gonna be super glittery and super badass and also by the way guys when you do this if you're using herbs be mindful of the fact that like fire loves it because it'll set your fucking house on fire and you don't want to do that like fire safety is important man you don't want to do any of that so now what i'm doing is filling in bald spots because she will not be bald this year okay no i'm not having it I'm just not having it So we're dressing the candle with all of our herbs and our magical prowess because I'm an alchemist. And all right, so this is what the herb now looks like. And I'm going to take some cedar leaf. And by the way, guys, it's totally cool to continue to have herbs at the bottom of the bowl. Like it just like reinforces everything. And I'm going to sprinkle some herbs on the top. So I got some rose petals on the top. I got some cedar leaf. It's so cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. Now, even though it's cute now, I will not burn it with cedar leaf around the wick. Like, honestly, like fire safety. If it looks like it's going to catch on fire, it's going to catch on fire. And I'm not going to be the cause of you burning your house down. I absolutely refuse. I'm not going to do it. I'm not having it. 
So I need you guys to practice, practice fire safety. And I need you guys to be mindful of the fact that when you set it on fire, the whole thing sets on fire. Like for example, these little leaves here that I got right here, this is cedar leaf. Great for money, by the way. But fire loves it. So when I set it on fire, right, I'm just going to take the little cedar leaves and I'm just going to slightly move it to the side and put it in the bowl so it doesn't catch. You know what I'm saying? All right. So that's the dress candle. Now I need, I need my magical touches. So I've got a few. Oh, I've got glitter everywhere. Okay. So one of my magical touches is going to be my bay leaves. So bay leaves are really, really good for wish magic. What you do is you take a bay leaf and then you take a marker. Don't take a pen because pens don't work. It'll tear your leaf and you write your wish on your bay leaf. Now I've already told you what it was because my wish is the same thing I put in my birthday candle. It's just abundance. That's what I want. I want abundance in every area of my life. So I'm writing abundance on my leaf and then I'm going to take my leaf. And I'm going to set this bad boy on fire, right? Now, be careful with babies because for real, for real, they turn into like wicks. And you see how that, you see that? It's just like they burn so fast and you got to just, just be a little bit careful. And then that's that. And then so I'm going to take my bay leaf and I'm going to put it in my little fire safe dish. It'll put itself out. You do not have to burn your bay leaf all the way down. That's unnecessary. If you want to, it's fine. I'm not going to stop you. But um, this, when you burn it, the wish that you wrote on a bay leaf, it turns into, into, the, into smoke and it goes into the ethers. And that's exactly where you want it. You want it in the universe. And so that's what we did. Bay leaves also work as a decent incense too, by the way. So that's just a thing. So that was almost my last step. And the next of my last, well, this is my last step, last step. I'm also going to be working with crystals because crystals are really, really amazing and they all do different qualities. So I am going to be using a rose quartz. This rose quartz is for me, you can use rose quartz for love, but this is not what I'm doing. I'm using rose quartz to signify the healing of my former self and to, um, and sort of a blessing of the, the new self that I know that I'm evolving to become. And then also for, for self love and to protect my heart. Right. And I don't mean like protect my heart from like that dude. I mean, like to, to sort of, to, 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 to make it, to make my heart center stronger. I'm incredibly sensitive, guys. I'm an empath. I feel everything. And it's just so, it's just to protect my heart. I got a piece of citrine here. The citrine is good for uh, uh, success. Um, it works with the sun. I've got a piece of tiger eye here, which is good for grounding. And I want to be grounded in this year. I want to be grounded in my, in my root chakra, but in my heart, in my emotions, in my mind. Um, I want to have a good hold of myself. So I've got a tiger eye that, is, that I'm going to be working with. I've got a piece of copper here that I'm also going to be working with. This copper is really good for business luck. And that is also a thing that's happening in my life. And last but not least, I got a piece of tourmaline here that I'm going to be working with, which is really good for protection. So I've got all things covered. And if you notice, my dish is shaped like a star. There's five points on the dish and I've got five crystals that I decided to use. And each crystal is sitting in a separate point of the dish. So that's it, guys. That is my birth oh, hold on that is my birthday candle and i will light this on my birthday this is also be the day that this video comes out so like wish your girl a happy birthday and um i would really appreciate it oh my god because you guys this is actually the first year that i think i've ever had where i was like properly excited for my birthday and was telling everybody about it a lot of us have like some people are really good some people are like it's my birthday and i tell everybody and then i wasn't initially one of those people i would not say anything about my birthday and then i would get mad that nobody would call me to tell me happy birthday which was ridiculous because they didn't know because i didn't tell them but this is like the first year where i'm like it's my birthday it's my birthday it's my birthday so it's my birthday and it's my birthday candle and i'm really excited about it so um, I hope you guys take this on and he goes, actually, I'm just going to, I'm just going to get up and I'm going to show you because I just feel like I'm too far away. Okay. So you see, I'm, I'm like, I don't want to be in your way, but you see that you see, 
you see? And I got a piece of tiger's eye down there that's tipping the candle over, but I'll fix that. You see? You see? You see? That's, that's my birthday candle, you guys. That's my birthday. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys found this helpful and you found it to be a really cool trick and a really cool thing, a magic thing that you can do on your birthday. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys soon.